Hiya everyone, I hope you're keeping well. I haven't been on here since my last video when I was telling you all about my mum. She passed away. It's been it's been a month and I can't believe it because things are just just things are crazy. Uh I'm gonna it's my first time coming on here, so I'll have to excuse us. I still feel a bit I have good days and then I have like today I feel really quite down. I did yesterday as well, I couldn't stop crying. Um I had to force myself to go to my gym class today because I just just couldn't. I just didn't want to, but I did it. I did it and I did actually feel better. The girls are lovely. We all, we're a couple of them went for coffee. Um and it was nice to just like just have people know why you are the way you are and you're just a bit down and like you know you're not on your own. So no, a little bit emotional but I don't like being down for people I know this might sound daft I just hate it I don't want people thinking all oh, this that Lauren she's always whinging or miserable and because I know what people are like even though they don't mean to be judgmental I'm always worried about people thinking oh keep away from her and don't ask and so I'm trying to put this like I'm fine thing on but I just couldn't today uh, I've been quite good there's so much to deal with like I said, my mum passed away on the 21st of July and it's just been const constant since um, I've kept up my classes. I wasn't going to the first week. I couldn't face it, but but Tracy says, no, come in. Even if you've got to cry your way through it, you're coming in. Um, it's, it'll do you good. And I'm glad I did because it does you good. And even if you cry in lesson, people know why and they're, they're there for you and it helps. I've had so much to sort out and mum never left a will she never left there was just no instructions nothing and nobody knows what to do so you kind of you go on autopilot of sorting stuff out and i'm nowhere near finished i'm about quarter to a halfway through and there's still loads of stuff hanging over and going on there's been some i'm gonna have to get on with me gonna, i'm gonna do my makeup and i'll try and talk while i'm doing it. i'm not very good at multitasking the twins are home so i've got my twin sisters living with us i don't know if i told you that in me my lives that i did last time so my mom was you'd have to excuse me i'm very breathless today because we did a fitness test and we had to run and i can't breathe out my nose at all so i had to like run with my hands like that and my heart was just racing so bloody fast and i could taste blood and everything and i'm, I'm always conscious about my heart because i've got a leaky valve and a murmur and i'm always like oh i don't want to push it too hard especially not what was what happened to my mum. so i've got proper heart health anxiety in my head now since then and so i'm always panicking but i push myself but I, uh, i'm struggling and notice i'm coughing afterwards i feel a bit like tight chested but it's probably because i was a smoker years ago so i deserve it but yeah so i'm a bit raspy this morning but I've come back, I've jumped in the shower, I've got no makeup on because I thought I'm going to put a makeup look on for you because I haven't been on and done a look for you quite for quite some time. So just something little. I'm not doing much today. I've got a day off. Um, I'm going to go with my friend. We're going to, I need, this is one of the things I've been doing. I've been eating loads of ice cream. I haven't had any alcohol for three months and 11 days. Um... I really felt like and I've got to be honest like when my mum died I really felt like just thinking sod it you know but I didn't I kept going I thought I'm not using that as an excuse just keep going you're not having a drink you feel better for it and you need to deal because you're just prolonging it I thought this so long and hard I thought if you go back on the alcohol you're just prolonging the agony and the misery and you need to start healing so I haven't had any I'm very 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 proud of myself because it's been tough, it's been really tough and it's not just tough because I've lost my mum but the amount of stress I'm under trying to sort everything out work's been brilliant I haven't. I, I had three weeks off work Um. so when it happened, like literally they said, you know, manager Paul amazing, he said just don't worry about this place whatsoever, go and get yourself sorted can't ask for better than that there's, there's hardly anyone there at the minute though so I'm back on a phased return because I can't handle 30 hours right now. There's just so much to sort. And my sisters do need, they do need care. So we're busy getting like a reassessment. I've got the social workers coming on Tuesday just to see if there's anything that can put in place to help me, to help them. Because I've never cared 
like this knowing mum did it i've never i've never done it and i don't want i want them to have the best you know so i've got that all sorted out for tuesday which are really good people have been so great um we've we're we're getting ahead we've, we're finally getting everything sorted bits like paperwork bt i'll tell you who's been good and bad and i'm not bothered about naming and shaming because honestly um so bt were absolutely amazing i explained the situation that my mum's passed away and then we need to get the things picked up and you know um they, they were the one of the first people to say i'm sorry to hear about your mum because everyone else i was saying i'm sorry my mum's just died i don't know what i'm doing please will you help us and there was just cold nasty horrible and that was after like 45 minutes of trying to get through to these companies and get everything sorted and, you, and then then they cut you off because they didn't understand you could you, i didn't know the numbers i should use on references and i'm like working on paperwork i found out of a house off like january 2016 and and they were just cruel cutting us off and that's um that was the dwp so martin was fuming with them the way they treat us because i said no martin honestly it's 45 minutes i waited on the phone i finally got through them and they cut us off and i had to go back the queue again and that was on the bereavement like you know you're explaining stuff's happened um because i needed to talk to them to help get the twins as benefits all sorted because bless them they've got no money they've had no money since my mum passed so i'm trying my best to get everything sorted and they're just they're, these companies are really hard to get in touch with um citizens advice have been brilliant bt have been absolutely brilliant and even sent a check they sent a bag send the stuff back there's a check sorry to hear about your mom like wow eon electric absolutely disgusting again didn't even say sorry about your mom or nothing like that you know and i know it's not their mom but i get really angry <laughs> sorry i get i feel like this is a bit of a vent one because i can't believe the amount of cold horrible people out there it's like I, i'm so passionate i feel like putting a bereavement packet in place and making this company and showing people how to have some empathy do you know what i mean because when someone's going through something awful just having someone care is so like helpful but no no so bt have been fantastic um the hospital my mom was in the morgue for over a week and a half because nobody was talking to each other she was just left lying there i was told people were going to contact us they didn't um so I finally rang back and said what's going on oh have you not heard anything no haven't well we'll email and it was meant to go to pure cremations because she never wanted a funeral um pure cremations didn't know who the hell my mum was and you know apologized in the end but it was because the hospital hadn't run pure cremations so just left in the morgue i mean you know she will laugh at all this if she's looking down she'll laugh her head off because it's like it's been like a comedy show the whole thing so finally contacted the co-op the co-op are who my sisters went to in the first place when my mom did pass because they didn't know how to use their mobiles to ring anyone so they'd gone to the co-op funeral and asked for help and took my mum's phone with them and my name is on her phone so it was i was at work when i got that call so the twins had done that so i went back to the co-op and they were like was you know they've been absolutely fantastic and i mean really 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 lovely um we, we were so happy we even took them flowers and a card and they said they'd never had them before because they were just so lovely with her and they were glad that they had mum back with them because of the situation they'd remembered work that day when the twins had gone in and they know me as Lala because I'm in my mum's phone as Lala and they were just lovely um so they've been fantastic the co-op funeral if you know if you have to go along with it and you live near a co-op funeral they've been fantastic Eon disgusting again not bothered and they want they wanted my bank account details to put take the selling charges out of my bank account until we sell the house which we don't know when we're going to sell the house so so I'm not giving them my bank account details. TV licensing were a bit weird. Um, they wanted, sorry, I'm using Pay Louise. I'm just doing my eye. I'm cracking on. I'm nine minutes in and I've just yabbered. But you know, I, like I said, oh, I need to show you something because this is going to make you laugh. I hope. It's made me laugh this morning. So you ready? Now, I haven't, yeah. So, I ha wrong brush. I haven't done my eyebrows in such a long time because... It's just not been my priority. And I've lost the brush I was going to use. Please help us fight a fight. I found it. So this is make you laugh, I think. Look at the length of that. 
going to show you right up close. Look at that. I know I get my brows done. I do them myself. And look at the length of that horrible, scary thing. You seen it? Is that disgusting or is that disgusting? So I'm going to spool it up and just cut it off. I hate having long hair. But like I said, I've not even hardly worn makeup. I just, it's been awful. I've not, and it, and it was bad timing as well. I've got beautiful friends, Fernanda and Phil, who come all the way from Port Portugal to see family here in the UK. And she's watched me videos for years and she always she said she was going to come, pat, like come to Shields specifically to see us and we'll go to dinner and stuff. And it's just been really hard because I, I didn't, it's just awful timing and I wanted to be so happy and and it was just hard. I felt so tired because I have not been sleeping properly. So we're like fatigued and not right. And the only thing like it's been proper keeping us going has been my class because I've just felt like I needed to get that out. It's uh, It's been a godsend for now. And then we're... So we've, got, we've been going to the house, well, Mark and Helen. So Helen's my older sister. Her, her and her boyfriend have been going to the house and bagging everything up for her while I've been at work. And it's just coming along. It's great because it's just hard. And God, I was going to go there today and clean, but I don't really want to be there on my own. I've got to be honest. It's, um, it's just too much for us. I, I really can't do it. I really can't do it. It's just awful. Like I, like, I went through a phase where I thought, yeah, I'm actually all right. I'm coping. Everything's fine. It's going you know, to... Because the twins, they're really helping. Like, they said the same. If it wasn't for me and Martin and Jordan, they would just be in a right state. Um, And if it wasn't for them, I'd be in a right state. Because I just... It's just awful. So, like, we kept each other going. And I've terribly addicted to ice cream at the moment it's my comfort food where there's not having alcohol i've turned the sugar massively since my mom died i've just gone wall on it i've not absent without leave but i've just gone berserk with sugar and i know i shouldn't because i'd gotten a grip of it i'd gotten really good place i'm not gaining any weight i'm still losing a little bit with all the exercise i'm doing but i, I know i'm not doing me my heart any good because it's uh it's full of sugar it's not good but I just seem to not be able to contain myself at the minute. And I think, like, part of us thinks, Lauren, don't worry, you know, you've gone through some stuff. Just enjoy a bit of ice cream. But the other part of us, like, fighty with it. So I'm going to put my makeup on now. I'm going to go. So this is another thing. Since I last came on here, we weren't going to because Martin didn't want ever, ever wanted to, didn't want ever another dog. Because we've got two Pomeranians who are not the friendliest they're quite naughty i've got no makeup wipes either i should have but i haven't they're quite naughty as in just miserable old miserable but we've got a chow chow i've always 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 wanted one and we finally got one i'm just looking for a nice base i could use soft ochre or could i use painterly painterly i'm going to use the pinky one today because i'm going to probably go in with something quite warm so mac painterly paint pot i love these a pro long way they're just lovely eye bases. You know, if you're going to put something on and you want it to stay put a bit. Take it right up under these brows. I probably should have put my brow on afterwards, but... Yeah. Uh, really lovely. So we've got a chow chow now called Lola. If you follow us on Facebook, twi um, not Twitter, because I got hacked and Twitter won't help us. I've lost my account. So Facebook and YouTube. We've got a lo We've got a Lola. My friend, she's lovely. She's just had a load of puppies. Um, and she's gave with Lola. We can pay her back when things are good, which is lovely. Because she said, because when she died, she got her chow. When she, when her dad died, she got her chow. She's always known I've wanted one. And when mum died, she kept saying, you need to get one. You need to have one. And I was like, no, because Martin will not let us. And it's not right, you know. But went to see her one night with all the puppies to cheer myself up. And this one chunky girl didn't leave us alone and i mean it they like, followed us around the whole house and um she went go on you can take her go on i don't mind pays back when you get the chance i promise it's all good and i thought can it there's no way and i went home and i asked martin and he went right go on and the twins were like wanting one as well um and just with everything that's gone on i think we need to you know and bless martin said the same so he's like right okay i'm outnumbered because we were all, please. 
and you know what it's been like a mega focus something to focus on something nice and in, in in this like brightness in the darkness because it's just it's a shit time do you know what i mean but we're all sticking together and it's strength in numbers and i love having the twins here and they love being here it's very 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 cramped and crowded though we're working on it we've got plans in place um, everyone's been like super helpful like at the council oh my god they're just absolutely amazing they've been town hall council have been amazing eon disgusting really absolutely disgusting greedy 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 horrible cold heartless energy companies i've got nothing nice to say about them tv licensing were a bit weird the you know we said there's no one there and they made sure they said well you're going to have to be there so we can come and do a check but they wouldn't tell when and like i says well people are working and no one wants to sit in the house waiting it's like eerie and they were just they didn't really care but then they did send a check as a um because my mum had overpaid so good on tv licensing for doing that it's going to help because we've had to pay for cremations and stuff we had some really lovely help off people laura a girl i know you watch us thank you she was really helpful um i've had loads of people messaging like it's it just saying like how you're doing and just checking in on us you know even if it's just to say how you're doing and you've got to run and you've got to get off to work just that how you're doing is dead nice because sometimes i don't even want to like talk about it it's just sometimes it's nice to have that option but anyway i'm going to do this because i'm supposed to be going to the vets with my friend she's taking her puppies to get their vaccines um and i'm going to go and help her because there's five i think she's got left and they're all blue fluffy chow chows and the bite so that's going to be fun in the back of the car with them right i'm going to go in with a middle color here which i call like a, a contrast color go quite dark do i need i need a different brush quick quick uh-huh oh, right cool right and then we'll go with that one so I'm on a phased return back to work. So I do 20 hours at the minute and then I'll go back up to 30 when I can deal with it. But I think that needs to be quick because like I said, there's no one left practically. It's uh, it's a bit of a, it's hard there at the minute and I can feel it and I don't want to let anyone down. It's just, a, it's a balance of not wanting to let anyone down and then just, oh, it's hard. It's really hard. I just, oh. I feel like i need time but you can't have time you can't do that anymore these days i've been lucky to get the time i've had do you know what i mean because when you hear about other people i think martin was saying you're going three days if someone dies it's like three days that three weeks wasn't enough i don't know how people cope no wonder we're all ill as a society you just hope you do you just it's like everyone's encouraged to just all oh, right someone's died sweep it under the carpet no don't deal with it I've been very lucky that people have encouraged us to talk and they've been there for us. And But I do get the feeling that a lot of people are just, they don't have that. And I don't know how they cope because if I didn't have the support network, I've got like, Martin's been just phenomenal. Like to put up with having sisters, because we didn't know each other, you know, when my mum was alive, we didn't. We never really got to see me twin sisters like they grew up together they're twins and me and helen were like the outsiders to them they were like we just didn't know each other we weren't really allowed to hang out together without my mum wanting to be there and she didn't want to get left out so we didn't get to see me twin sisters very much so now it's like we're strangers but it's brilliant because we're learning so much about each other and martin's been brilliant he just if he needs his space he's off at the gym and stuff and yeah, he's, he's just great because not many men, I don't think, would put up with that. And he's he was the one that's happily welcomed it. Jordan's loving having the company here because he loved the twins because we used to live there at one point, you know, before I moved out my mum's. So Jordan's 24, the twins are 27. So there's not much of an age gap, you know, being the aunt, being his aunties. Um, so they're living here. And they... We need, a, we need to get a little room because we're going to do the, the heavily into fashion like me. So we're going to do like, I don't know, TikTok type of videos and get them all excited. So they've got something to focus on because keep their mind busy. So I've got my orange on. It is a bit orange, but I like it. I'm going to go a little bit darker with a dark brown. This one here. And then I'm going to be, I'm a bit like heavily dressed to go to the vet. But I've not worn makeup for such a long time. I don't really care. Oop, I'm going in the purple. I don't want that colour. Or do I? 
might be all right i would get lola up here but she's still potty training she's doing great she goes in the garden i've got her downstairs on the vinyl and the laminate she doesn't wee in the sitting room luckily but she does wee at the back door on her pads when the doors open sometimes i've got to like push her butt out but then other times she'll be she just sees to herself she's brilliant she doesn't bark like them two i get such anxiety because they bark so loud but she doesn't she's quiet she's really good as gold i was in the garden with her yesterday morning and i was i woke up a, f a bit down and i was in the garden it's lovely and sunny the sun was coming up i just sat me coffee cry my eyes out and I just thought, this is just, oh, keeps coming in waves. And then I was in Asda. Because I feel like, I keep feeling like I need to send my mum a text to say, how are you doing? Do you fancy going for a coffee and stuff? But I can't because she's not going to get that text, is she? Sometimes I'll walk around the house when I'm on my own and I'll talk to her. Because I, I feel like she's listening. I'm not one to believe all that stuff. But I don't know. I don't know if it makes me feel better or it makes, I don't know. I feel like she's listening. It's really hard because I never got to say bye to her. My last text I sent to her was a week before she died. She never replied because she was not well. I didn't know she was not well because she never spoke to her. She hated hospitals. She she just made sure no one would hand her over to a hospital. She said even if she was crippled, she'd had a car accident. Just do not let me get into an ambulance. She's always strongly against hospitals because she was always let down. She was terrified of them. So she wouldn't have even asked for help towards the end. She would have been in a lot of pain that night when she went. So to it was... it was um, Someone asked in the last video what it was. And it, we've got a death certificate back. It was a ruptured aortic aneurysm. And I know a lot of people have commented since saying it can be genetic. I know. I've read about it and we are all going to go and get tested because, as you know, I've got a heart condition. And I think Rachel possibly might. She had a murmur when she was younger. I don't know if it's still there, but we need to go and get it all sorted because we told the girls we really need to look after ourselves. So they're on the cod liver oil and we're going to look after ourselves as best we can. Just by being there for each other and keeping each other upbeat and... When I'm down, I'll keep away from them because I don't want them seeing us down. Okay, so there we go. It's not, I think, yeah, that, that'll do. I'm going to put a bit of cut. I, I like that look, actually. I'm really enjoying this look. I hope it's not too long of a video. Some people are like, it doesn't matter. You haven't been on a while, and I think that's lovely. But then others, I think, I'd love to just get, Lauren, get to the point. You've got a bit of everything, haven't you? So at least you can just fast forward and turn off if you don't want to hear us complain today, because I'm complaining, just stick the volume down. I don't mind. I can't tell. I can't see what you're doing. But I just sometimes I need to get it out. And I, it's in my head. It's, it's the hard. When I cry, it comes out. But crying in Asda when you're at the checkout is not good. I did that yesterday. It was embarrassing. I'm going back in over this with a bit of the dark purple, that one right next to the brown, just to give it like an accent colour on the outer corner. Twins are letting Lola out. It's going to be soaking. I will introduce you on a different video. It's not on this one because it's going to be ages by the time I get it up. Brought her in here earlier and she was barking at that reflection in the mirror. She didn't know what it was. Okay. Oh, yes, look. I'm getting some nice muscles from my class. And I'm really chuffed as well because I've got a, still a flabby belly. But look, I'll show you. Look at this. It's starting to like come together. I had a little line there before, but I think that's just where it was squashed. <laughs> but it's, it's not as bad as it was. Do you know what I mean? I've still got a bit there. But I've only been doing it um, seven weeks and we don't do weights she had luke come in her husband her boyfriend to do the weights with her yesterday because she was a, saturday because she was away i loved it it killed us but i loved it but i can't afford to do any more so i'll have to just stick with it what it is but i think what i'll do is i'm gonna me and martin are at the gym at little haven we go there swimming in at the gym and i might just go and lift a load of weights because i really want to be strong 
it's, it's helping me mind it's helping me mind because i just i think if it wasn't for the class all the women and just people around us right now i just don't think i'll be coping i'll be honest i just wouldn't I mean, I might be, I'd be, I've surprised myself, I'll be honest, because I used to have this joke, right? I've never been on antidepressants before. And I used to have this joke that when my mum or dad died, I'd I'd keep the Prozac for then, because I know I wouldn't really cope. But I've coped all right, and I didn't turn the drink, which I really thought I might have done, but I didn't. So I'm proud of myself. I'm proud of myself. It's just hard. Just to get dazed, don't you? And then when you're coping really well, you think, wow wow this is good and then it just comes back but my sister-in-law nicola smart and sister she said it's just sent us a little book and she says it's griefs like waves because she they lost their dad um two years ago and it was a horrible death as well it wasn't very nice at all i was there as well to see it was nasty and it was a really sad time so i know how i feel and when they found out her and Martin's mum come all the way up to Newcastle to see us, to give us a cuddle. And I just thought that was bloody fantastic because they come all the way from Macclesfield. So lovely. So if you're watching Nicola, thank you. It did. It was lovely. It made a lot of difference. Just knowing people care, like I said, it's amazing. I'm going to put, cause I can't leave it like that. Well, I could actually, but I'm not going to. I want to go in with something you know what i fancy a bit of olive i haven't had olive for a while but i'm going to go in with something look at that so either this emeraldy or that one which one which one i'm feeling that one no i'm feeling that one i'm feeling the green yeah we're going to go like a khaki green and i might put a bit of that gold on top of it here goes i've got no makeup wipes in the house so if it goes wrong i'm stuck with it my friend's on her way. I've told her I will not be going anywhere with anything until I've had an ice cream today because it's just got to be done. And it's absolutely chucking it down out there. It's depressing. There we go. Oh, I like the way it's made my eyes look nice there. Nice and green. It's brought them alive a bit. So I'm happy with that. I like that. I put a bit of mascara on, a bit of liner, and that's going to really come together, isn't it? May put a bit of gold on the middle bit, but I don't know. Let's have a look. What you could do as well, if you really want this to pop, so I put this on for the whole lot, but the P. Louise bases, that ideal because you can build them. If I can find one. Yeah, that's a base, I think. Or is that something else? Anyway, it looks like that. Stick it on your eye, put your makeup on, like your backgrounds, little build 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 and then when you come to doing your actual lid stick a bit more on and then put your eyeshadow on and it just it, it's called a cut crease and it pops sure a lot of people know what they are but if you don't have a look at a cut crease it's stunning years ago because i feel like a relic now when i started in 2007 on here i used to do i used to get the mac pigments and to make them really pop, I used to put Vaseline on my eyes. And then I figured it didn't stay very well. So then I ended up going with the whole, you know, the whole shark skin shade stick things. You know, the black, black base makes things pop, pop. And it used to just look amazing. I miss those days. They were good days. Aye. Right. Anyway, so we've got our eyes. I'm going to put just a smidgen, just a smidgen of the, actually... I do have this pencil brush job. Yeah, I'll use this one. I'm going to go back in with that green. And I'm going to just put a little bit underneath. Mixed with the dark brown. Like that. Like literally just mix the pair of them together. It doesn't matter because they're not going to go on in any particular order. But just gives you that. Do you know what I mean? The smoky effect without worrying about colour placement, just dump it together. Put that there as well. And the thinner the brush, the better. This one's quite strong. It's tapered and it's quite a strong pencil brush. So you get it like quite straight on there rather than blended right out. If you want to blend it right out, you could. I'm sure I've just heard some thunder. 
but that's that and then i'm going to put a tiny bit just a tiny 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 bit on the outer corner the outer quarter not necessarily on the eyelid but just on the skin and the eyelid and then i'm going to blend so out a quarter again because as i get older i've noticed i don't really fare well with heavy eyes that are darkened because it brings them in so if i do it gently and lightly it can i can quickly get away with it and i've just lost my brush i do this i put them in front of us and i can't find them again where is it i bet i'm staring at it here where is it it's back in the bag this is actually a ruby and lily brush and i wasn't a massive fan of ruby and millie not because of ruby it was millie i think i met millie once and i felt like she was a bit patronizing towards us looking back she's probably thinking you know who's this girl she's a nobody she doesn't know makeup like me she's just hit the big time on youtube and i'm gonna give her advice on the bbc and so i felt she was a bit patronizing and someone else picked up on it as well which i'm glad because i thought am i just being paranoid but i don't know i wasn't a massive fan wasn't a massive fan okay now i do have mascara somewhere this one here i love it found out this one is actually the one my twin sisters use as well so they've got good taste like me i want to do that makeup soon i might do a video on them see if they're comfortable i know michaela is much more comfortable and confident about that kind of stuff on here rachel is worried she'll piss herself laughing she's got my problem when she's not allowed or when things are serious, Rachel laughs. So obviously there's been a lot of laughing going on in this last month. Not because of genuine laughter, but because of nerves. Um, lots of meetings with officials. And Rachel can't deal with it. So me and Michaela have done the majority of it. Are you going out? Where are you going? think they've gone they're in and out the house all the time i love it i love them having independence i just i keep seeing them right make sure you lock the doors do this do that do that because they forget and I, I really worry about like doors and stuff for the dogs like it was one of my biggest anxieties about going back to work i'm petrified i can't use the cooker at all so I've said don't touch it when I'm not yet. When I'm here, I'll be with you and you can, you know, do all that kind of stuff. So, But um, there's just a few other things that they need a bit a bit prompting on, which we're busy getting sorted soon. So hopefully on Tuesday, we'll get it all sorted. Oh, where are you going? Michaela? Rachel? Rachel? They're in and out the toilet. I don't know if they're coming in or going out or what. They've already been in the town this morning and it's dead early. Bless them. So when they lived with my mum, they used to go to bed at like 3, 4, 5 in the morning sometimes and not wake up till the end of the day. Now they go to bed at 10. They love it. So we've got them in a really good routine. Um, the the we've got them in a little routine of get your teeth brushed, shower if you need to, and um, put all your stuff in the wash. Get your bedding on. Um, we bought them bunk beds, so it was Martin's idea because the blessing them on an air bed. So we've got them bunk beds which are in my sitting room. So we've got no sitting room at the minute. So we've got bunk beds each, which the bloody love, and we're going to take to the next place if we have to go. We are, um, so they've got their bunk beds, they love them. I'm going to get that on my eye. But there we go, I love this look. Do you like it? It's just something different. I haven't really done a smoky green look for a while. And believe it or not, there's a bit of purple in there and purple makes green eyes pop. So I've put the purple there to give it a bit extra. And I do actually think it's made my eyes look greener. It's worked. So I'm going to put a little bit of this. Look, it's been dyed off the sun. I'm going to go in with always cheeky, I think. Yeah, because if it's light green, you can go pink. If it's dark green, I always say go peach. So I'm going to go peachy, peachy. Yeah, I'm going to go with one of these two. Maybe it's both. I might do a bit of both. I 
34 minutes wow it'll be a long one but to be honest if i'm farting about anyway it takes about 30 40 minutes to do my makeup <laughs> just i don't talk i usually have my music on one of them's in the shower i can hear the, the i can hear the boiler don't know which one oh bless them so they're just they're just fantastic right so they've got slight learning difficulties um and they're they're just cute they'll, they'll they're just so warm and when the other day they could tell i was down a little bit so they've gone and got us some stuff they've gone and got us some chocolate and they've heard that i told them one time ages ago that i love trifle so they went and bought us this like sickly sweet trifle and then last the night before they'd kept they'd bought this big bar of um mint arrow and they'd kept us a couple of segments which was lovely um and then there was something else they'd done yes they'd gone to the fair and they bought these twizzler oh, what they're called marshmallowy things they bought them and they bought some fudge and i said to them have you got anything sweet and they were like yeah yeah have a look in the bag and i was like oh oh and they went you can share lauren you can share and they were shared them out last night and had a laugh on the couch because we're all a bit we think a lot about mum so like cheering each other up and stuff and, and it's just lovely it's lovely to have my sisters we did offer helen to come live with her as well but she's got her own little life and she's happy and she's with her she's with her boyfriend mark and his mum and dad but we're lucky that we all get on there's no like you know, and you hear sibling rivalry and animosity and we're very, very, very lucky. We're all helping each other out and no not no one's like, you know, none of that crap, mum. She did she did do that right, you know. We're all we're all alright. I need some lips, don't we? What can I use? I keep using the same one and I can't. I'm gonna put something else on fire today. This I'm using a lot of P. Louise stuff, I'm sorry. I don't like doing that, but it's at hand. But, oh, what's this? Right, I'm going to use that. So this is Colour Sensational Maybelline 930 Nude Embrace. I've got makeup on my finger. This one is Nude Embrace number 930. I need to... So I've been teaching Lola tricks. Oh, I like So she can sit, she can give a paw and she can give us a kiss. And it's actually really helpful because, so I'll tell her, I'll sit on her on as soon as I get up. I'm at my class Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays and Saturdays. So I have to get up for about five to five, five to, yeah, five to five, no, five to six, five to six, something like that, yeah. And I'll get a cup of coffee, feed Lola. The other two are in their room, sleep, they don't even rouse till late, the other two dogs. So feed Lola. Then I do her tricks and treats. So it's sit, pull, and now she can kiss you on the nose and she gets her treat. Um, and it's come in handy because she bites really bad. Like, look, I've got puncture wounds off her. Little git, you know, she does bite. So I've learned that when I tell her to kiss us on the nose for a treat, whenever she's biting really hard, I'll say kiss, kiss, and she stops biting and she'll lick your nose and then I can deter her. So you know it's been about four days of doing that so far and she's learning um and if you just nip back a little bit on the rump she stops as well because she can bite really hard and i was reading like how to do the the best thing for her because chows if they grow up in the wrong hands it can be aggressive and i thought i'm not i don't want that and she's dead loving like you pick her up and she just loves it like i I'd, like i'll put her over my shoulder and i'll baby bounce and she's getting heavy now like she was we've had her we we'll have that since just before she was eight weeks old, and now she's she's over nine weeks, so she, she's grown so much. Um, she's really heavy, but she's lush. She's part of a baby bear. Um, so she's dead loving. I've been brushing her hair every day. Um, lead training. Martin does the lead training. Um, I've been brushing her teeth with the liver paste. Just getting her used to loads of touch. Keep touching her paws and stuff. And everyone I see, like I put her in a, like a papoosey thing. If I go out just short. And I like hand them to st hand out a stranger so she gets used to getting handed. And everyone comes over and they squish her head and they go, squishes lush. And she just loves it. I can feel her little tail going. 
and I want to keep that in her so she's dead friendly and I can't wait. She'll have her first jabs, we'll get our second ones done next Tuesday and we can start taking her out for walks. Can't wait. She's just, she's, she's, a, she's adorable. It's just um, a little bit of brightness at the minute. Lovely and everyone just loves that a bit. Except the other two, they're not massive fans of her yet because she's like, she's dead. She's probably bigger than them now and she's heavy and she wants to play. So you hear, meh, meh. you think, right, get out. And you've got to like put a toy in front of her so she goes for the toy. But it's fun. <laughs> right, I really hope you've enjoyed this makeup look. I should have probably put a bit of contour on, but I guess I don't want to look too much because I'm just having a plain day to day. To eat ice cream and go to the vets, you know. So I really hope you've enjoyed this little look. I hope you've enjoyed the update. And I will be back soon because I'm I'm all right. I'm not like going to cry my eyes out on a video. So thank you for being patient. Thank you for all the messages. I really mean it. You don't realise how much it's helped at a time like this. So if you know someone that's down, just check in with them. I'm going to. I'm going to think who I can check in with and just help. Because you just never know when that message comes through how good it's going to be received when someone's needing it. Yeah. Anyway, I shall see you all in a bit. Zoom, zoom.